the Tokelau community now, Eli Elekana Manu is Tokelau's only international wrestler. He picked up the sport two years ago and has already gained qualification for the world champs in Uzbekistan later this year. Karima Fai'ai went along to training to find out more. Watching UFC, a lot, a lot of my favourite fighters had a base in Olympic wrestling. It's not for everyone. I've seen a lot of injuries, um, people get thrown around. It would be one of the toughest sports um, I've ever done. Meet Eli Elegana Manu, Tokelau's only international wrestler who is preparing to take the island all the way to the world champs. What you don't know is he'll be the first ever to do so in Tokelau in history. I've always been into um, following WWF wrestling and uh, Mr. Martial Arts. Just reminded me of rolling around with my brothers in the backyard, my friends as well. I guess they kind of grew out of it, but uh, I wanted to keep on wrestling. Eh? Two years ago, that became a reality. After spotting an advert for the sport, Eli grabbed the opportunity with both hands. My fitness level wasn't uh, up to where it needed to be. Um, so it was really tough for me initially getting into it. Just putting in the, the extra work as well and, and looking at my, my weights as well. I had to cut out all the, the pisupo and, uh, and all that stuff. And it all paid off at the Oceania Champs last month, winning gold for Greco-Roman wrestling and two bronze medals for beach and freestyle. I wasn't expecting uh, anything like that, but I'm uh, really happy to, to come out with the result. Watching him train really hard and progress as a wrestler and to see him go up and get his medal at Oceania, that was a pretty awesome experience. An experience made even sweeter coming from the tiny Tokelau Islands. Yeah, it was just a huge honour really and something that I've wanted to do for a while. I'm really, really proud to, to represent Tokelau because it's so small and it's dear to my heart. So much so, Eli hopes to develop the sport on the island. But first, it's a trip to Uzbekistan where he'll be facing off against the world's best later this year. It's quite daunting and exciting at the same time. Um, you know, I've watched some of these guys on YouTube, um, been following them, and, and now actually um, being in a position where I could wrestle with them, I might be more starstruck than anything. If I go there physically, uh, mentally prepared, then uh, yeah, I think I can only just do my best. Eli's done extremely well with the time that he's had uh, to wrestle, so to make it to the world champs is amazing. The future looks bright for the 29-year-old, hoping to qualify for the Olympics in 2016. And whether he'll be following the footsteps of another Polynesian wrestler. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Nah, nah, probably not. Nah, he's doing well, eh? I'm a big, big fan, though, big fan. He's too small for WWE, man. Anyway, once you've done real wrestling, I don't think you ever go to fake. 